Thanks for joining us on the next video of this series. Today I'm going to go over the process for installing a PX4 development environment on Mac OS, which can be used for building PX4 firmware and to run the JMavSim Multicopter Simulator. The installation process is simple, but requires the use of a terminal and installing a few tools. I'm going to go over what tools you need to install first, then we will get right into installing the PX4 toolchain and simulator. After that, we'll do a quick demo on how to build and run the simulator. If at any point you feel lost, there will be a link in the description for the written instructions that you can follow along with. The instructions are the official instructions from the dev guide, so if you have any concerns, you can find the precise commands there. All right, let's get right into it. The first piece of software you need to install on your system is Homebrew. It is a command line tool that allows you to easily install most of the software that you need. If you already have it installed, then you can just skip ahead. Installing Homebrew is very simple. Just go to brew.sh in your web browser, and you'll see a command you need to copy and paste into your terminal. Let's do that now. Command space to open up Spotlight Search, and then type terminal, and press enter to open up your terminal. Then command V to paste the command and hit enter. Finally, type your password and press enter twice. Pasting this into your terminal and running it will install Homebrew on your system so we can move to the next step. Nice. Now let's continue. After installing Homebrew, we can run a few more commands to install the common tools. These are the tools that you need for both the simulators and building firmware. However, these commands are for the current release and may not work for the older releases. All right, let's do this. Back in the terminal, type the following brew tap px4 forward slash px4. Let this run. Now type brew install px4 dev. Let this run too. If you don't have Python 3.8.3 or the latest installed, then make sure to install and set it to default before proceeding forward. If you already have it, then continue. Now, type the following. I'll put these in the description so you can just copy and paste. All right, now we have all the common tools installed. Let's install the simulator, which is the last step in the process. To do so, type the following command in your terminal. Brew, tap, adopt, open, JDK, forward slash, open, JDK. Then type, brew, cask, install, adopt, open, JDK, 14. And type your password. Then type brew install px4 sim jmav sim. All right, now everything is installed. We just need to do our first build to get everything started, and then we can demo the simulator. So, to do that, back in the terminal, type the following. First, go into your development directory. Mine is developer. Now, clone the firmware repository. Type get clone https colon forward slash forward slash github dot com forward slash px4 forward slash firmware dot git dash dash recursive. Now, go into the firmware directory. And now we build the firmware. Type make px4 underscore sitl space jmav sim. This might take a bit of time, so grab a coffee or two, depending on your system. I'm going to fast forward through all of this for you, though. Once this is done, then it's time to issue your last command. However, 
If you find these instructions aren't working like in the video, then please create an issue on the GitHub repo or contact us on Slack so we can resolve the problem as quickly as possible. It's likely that something has recently changed and we just didn't catch it yet. You should see a simulator running now. If not, then go back and make sure you didn't miss a step. Again, I'll paste a link to all the commands in the description. The final command we need now is commander takeoff. Now the simulated drone should take off. To land it, just type commander land. Okay, that's it. Thanks again for joining us in this series of videos. I just wanted to add that you can also find all of this information at dev.px4.io if you need any further information. Also, there is another simulator you can install found at that link called Gazebo. You can also install that if you want. It'll give you the ability to test other vehicles. Alright, thank you and we look forward to seeing you again.